So millions of voices raised across America and the entire world over the injustice of what happened to Peanut the Squirrel and Fred the Raccoon. But folks, the story just got so much darker. An amazing subscriber and researcher named Miss Donna reached out to me and said, Samantha, the biggest scam to have ever hit the internet is happening under Peanut the Squirrel's name. Folks, this is a breaking story and I'm very honored to be one of the first people to bring this to you. There is a fake account raising money under Peanut the Squirrel's name. Now you have the original, which is a beautiful cream colored. This is it, this is the original. It is a dot .com site, okay? And now you have this one. Black background, and it is a dot .site. Not dot .com, dot .site. I'm gonna show you on my computer the differences between these two accounts. One of them belongs to Peanuts Sanctuary Farm. The other one is a scam, possibly stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars in Peanuts' name, in Fred's name, and being sent God knows where, but we need the police in New York to investigate. I'm gonna show you the name that this account and the account number that the money can be sent to of the woman who may or may not, her identity might have been stolen, be attached to this account. The New York police need to get involved. The FBI needs to get involved. And somebody needs to let Peanut and Fred's parents know they're being scammed. As you can see, guys, it says Peanut's Freedom Farm Animal Sanctuary Home. This is the actual site for peanuts freedom farm okay so let me show you guys what's going on so this is the actual site this belongs to peanut notice something peanuts freedom farm fundraising it's got peanuts right there's an s located there this is the actual page notice the coloring go up here to donate and what you notice is once you get donate up it says all this is going to go to food, veterinary care, medical supplies, shelter construction, maintenance, and so much more. Donate here. You pull the donate here and it starts. Um, okay, so it's only showing. Hold on. That's a little different than what you get. Oh, here they are. Here they are. 15, 35, 50, 100 and 150 right you can be champions of freedom peanuts freedom farm folks there is a scam going on so watch what i do next but if i accidentally type peanuts freedom forms right i'm going to get a different site dot site this is a scam this is a fake page the exact same information that mark has on his page okay exactly so i need somebody to get in touch with peanut and fred's parents uh adopt a parent caregivers whatever you want to call them and let them know that there is a scammer look look Food, vet care, medical supplies, construction, maintenance, etc. Donate here. First thing you notice, Bitcoin. I did a video the other day on Selena, but look at the look at the bank details. Beth Madras, New York. So this woman, that is her bank account number. That is her routing number. That is her name. I don't know if she's involved or if, again, this is a stolen identity to go with a stolen account. So they even have the exact same package that the original people have. And look, look at the tax ID number right here. Look at this. It's the same one. So you might want to ask me, how do I know that this is a scam? Notice this, okay? Look at this. There's no S between the T and the F. So this is not the email that goes with Peanut the Forum's actual look. Look, see the S? You see, I see that? It's two 
different site. So this is the actual one, peanuts with an S, freedomform at gmail.com. Here is the scam, peanut freedom form at gmail.com. Somebody needs to turn these people in. They're probably making a killing. I mean, the whole thing, meet our animals. Look at this. They even have a connect to Amazon wish list. And it goes right back to giving them money, to giving them money. So they have an Amazon wish list. Look at this. Meet Chance. Meet Wilbur. All right. Let's go to Peanut's actual page. Right. So everything. Meet the animals. Meet Chance. <laughs> meet Wilbur. Look at that, folks. They copied everything off the original. And the only way that you know when that you're on the wrong site is this black background. Here's the original. Again, it's like a, you know, like a cream, right? Peanuts, Freedom Farm Animal Sanctuary. Peanuts, Freedom Farm Animal Sanctuary. You would never know. We never Some know. of the other ways that you know that you were on the incorrect site is when you go to the Instagram link on Peanuts' actual site, it takes you to Mark's Instagram. You see all the little photos. But when you go to the fake site and you click Instagram, you just get a blank screen there. It's like they're not connected to the actual Instagram account. Folks, this makes me so mad. There has been so much done wrong with this case. And we can all agree with that. From the fact that now Monica Kiesler is claiming she's innocent and she may be. But again, she started the whole thing by first falsely accusing another person on Facebook and getting that woman kicked out of a squirrel rehab group that was located on Facebook. And Monica has yet in any interview I've listened to her apologize for falsely accusing someone else and then the tables supposedly got turned on monica so we're back to square one we don't know who actually turned in mark there are rumors that because of his only fans page that somebody that was connected on that end may have been the false accuser so we will probably never know due to the confidentiality clause of whistleblowers clause of whistle whistleblowers there is a protection for people when they turn people in for breaking the law so you're never going to get the government to give you a foia request that's honest because they legally cannot they'll claim anybody's not the one who did it if you ask them to because they can't. They legally cannot oust the person or persons that made the complaint. So understand that. You can put in as many FOIA requests as you want, but there is a confidentiality clause that is going to protect people when they whistleblow. It's like that for CPS with Child Protective Services. It's like that with any federal or state agency. So having a FOIA request saying that you didn't call is not worth the paper that is written on, folks. It's just not. Because they can't say who called by law. They cannot. So now that we've clarified that, and then as you move on, you've got the new legislation coming up in New York City called Peanuts Law. Well, I did a live on that for you guys, and I broke that entire law down, and I explained why it is not the golden law everybody thinks it is it's going to make it so much more difficult for average people to help hurt wildlife it's going to punish people so harshly for doing the right thing and it still gives the government so much more um leadway it gives them a lot more legislative and law on their side in, in my personal belief like i looked at the law i just don't see it as being something that's really going to help animal rehabbers the only good point in that entire law is that there is now a 72 hour wait period before they can euthanize but the same lady that sent me this 
also sent me some information that kind of proves that before they even went to Peanut's house, the law had already reached out and requested euthanization for these animals. So something so much more sinister is going on in my belief. And now somebody has a fake account profiting off of a euthanized squirrel and raccoon that the entire world pulled some joy and pleasure from in this dark, dark place we live. And I don't know about you, but ooh, that just burns me. <laughs> just burns me so bad. Because I have people that try to hit me up on PayPal and have opened up PayPal accounts very close to mine, trying to get people to send them money saying it's from me. So it happens. It's why you need to follow the links that creators put in their comments and stuff like that. Or at least check with that person before you send money because this is what scammers do, folks. But on a, on a beautiful note, I want to leave you with this. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please, please share this video. It needs to go viral. It's the only way people are not going to be scammed. It is the only way that people who have accidentally given to this account can possibly turn it into the FBI and get their money back, folks. Otherwise, it's just going to put a bad taste in everyone's mouth and nobody's going to want to give anymore to help people who genuinely need it. So I love you guys so much. Enjoy this last clip. Have a blessed Saturday. Down there lived a man with a little squirrel peanut, his biggest fan for seven years. They shared their day spreading love and joy in so many ways. But the government came to them away with no reason given. Just shadows that play a raccoon by his side Both lost in the night, leaving behind a heartache That just isn't right Oh, Peanut, we're singing for you A million voices strong, we're coming through